Hello everyone, welcome back to some more Pokemon Leaf Green version. In the last episode, we traveled through all of Rock Tunnel, checked out a tiny bit of Lavender Town, and we got here to Celadon City. I did forget off screen to train up, but I decided off screen as well to switch up what my end game team is going to look like. So, we unfortunately got rid of Chubbs. I know, fan favorite. We got rid of Chubbs, swapped him in with Mimian, the Mr. Mime. I know I said I probably wouldn't use Mimian, but if I wanted a special wall, Mimian's gonna be the guy. You know, I, I need Mimian as the, the wall. And Flarny is also still gonna be a temp member, especially for this upcoming gym. But we also are gonna actually keep Eevee, and we're going to evolve it actually like right now. So let's go do that. Let's go evolve Eevee right now, and a lot of you are probably going to be like, Oh my god, this guy's stupid. Why is he doing it this way? Well, the truth is, I am trying to use Pokemon I don't typically use or just have never used before, and this evolution is going to be one of them. So one, we're going to try and buy a new TM, permitting I have the money for it. Oh, maybe the TM is on a different floor? Oh, wait a minute, the TM is, is not in the Celadon City, or Celadon game, or fuck. <sighs> this, the TM is not here. But, if you want to learn counter, there's a, <laughs> you can learn that. Sorry for being so loud, oh gosh. Uh, I just looked over and saw that I peeked. Oh, and this, this is the part of the game that's telling you, hey, just so you know, uh, Pokemon can evolve when traded, which is pretty cool. I do like that in the modern games, they've added a new item that you could just use, like as a stone. Uh, for example, you can use, the, I think it's called the Link Cable to evolve Haunter and all those things. Ooh, here we go. One, let's buy one of these. And one of these. And one of these. And there we go. We now officially have the thing we're going to use to evolve Eevee. Eevee is going to become a Flareon, and yes, it is because I don't typically... I don't typically use Flareon. Uh, generally, they're considered bad Pokemon. Uh, and normally I use Vaporeon or Jolteon. No, I don't need to know about the copy pasta on Vaporeon. I think that's stupid. Vaporeon was one of my favorite Pokemon until that happened. Still one of my favorite, but definitely not the favorite of my Gen 1 mods. Anyway, Flareon. Now you may be looking at me like, God, what an idiot. Why would he use Flareon in this gen where special attack is not as good as physical attack? Well, Flareon can actually learn a really good move. That move being Flamethrower and... It's special attack is like not so bad <laughs> like it's it could definitely be better but it's not so bad that like it's you know oh god get rid of this thing it's so bad it's terrible blah 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 uh i honestly don't remember what's on this floor what is on this floor oh these are the calciums and everything okay and then what is this these are the x items cool but yeah if you ever want to like check out the celadon corn or Celadon City's uh, department store. Definitely do that. There's quite a few really good floors, honestly, if you're trying to build like a competitive team for whatever reason in this game, or if you're trying to, you know, just evolve Pokemon through Stone Evolution, there's that too. But now we're going to go do the thing. Uh, we're going to do a couple of things, really. Honestly, let me check my TM case really quick, because right now, Flareon's kind of worthless. <laughs> Can we teach it a physical move like Aerial Ace? Probably not. Flarney can learn Aerial Ace, though. Hmm. I don't know how good that would be. Probably better than Fury Attack, honestly. Yeah, screw it. Let's learn Aerial Ace on Flarney. I didn't know I could teach it Aerial Ace. That's cool. That means Flarney is now, like... <laughs> One of our best Pokemon against grass types, which is convenient because of uh, this upcoming gym. Oh, what am I to do? Someone stole our Silph Scope. Thief came running this way, I'm sure of it. I lost sight of him. Where'd he go? Well, 
I don't know, man, but I'm gonna go check out this pub. And I'm gonna talk to this guy who looks very angry. No more slots for me. I'm going straight. Oh, thanks. Thanks for the coin case, man. I appreciate it. So, we're gonna go gamble. And by gamble, I mean not gamble at all. And we're going to just buy a bunch of coins. Uh, unfortunately, we aren't going to have enough coins to buy what we want. And we'll play one round of gambling. Why not play one slot machine? Oh, that was close. We got a wager, though. Nice. We got a 15. We already made a profit. Anyway, I just wanted to show that off and also check out these combos. You really want triple sevens, but even then, like, don't even worry about it. Alright, I'm guarding this poster. Go away or else. It's time for us to do the actual thing we're, we're trying to tackle in today's episode, which is the Rocket Game Corner. Also, just realized that Mimian is out front, and that's not great. So we'll put, uh, Ploof in there. Screw it. Ploof doesn't need... <laughs> Doesn't need much to be really good, so... Or, we don't... What am I trying to say? Ploof is... Ploof's our best Pokemon. So we'll just throw him out there, that way we don't ruin our... Other Pokemon's health. Oh, and I did forget to mention that traded Pokemon gained boosted experience, so Mimian's gonna level up pretty quickly while he's out front. Uh, let's switch in Mimian again and get that Zubat kill with probably Electro. Also, pardon me, uh, <laughs> my allergies have been on and off today, or the past few days. Like, I wake up one day and they're, like, not there, but then they come in later in the afternoon. And then some days I wake up and I'm just, you know, messed up. And then by the time it's, like, mid-afternoon, early afternoon, I'm fine. So, I don't know, it's weird. Allergies suck, that's all I know. Mimian grew to level 10. Look at that special defense, though. It's already, like, pretty high. That's pretty good. We love to see it. Huh, he just went somewhere. There's a switch behind the poster. Let's push it. And here we go. Time for the rocket hideout. Now, there is... I'm gonna do this thing called speeding up because there are just so many battles in this area that personally I wouldn't want to watch like I wouldn't want to watch all of it but you know I understand I, I'm not trying to like leave out a bunch of stuff but at the same time I just want to like skip through this area so I'll see you guys once we've killed all the team rocket members and we'll meet back here okay well Accidentally, I uh, got stuck in here, so let's grab this Moonstone and then this other item over here. But I did unintentionally battle a lot more Rocket Grunts than I anticipated. Uh, my bad. Yo, my fault, my fault. But, I didn't pick up any of the items, so I'm definitely gonna go back through and show you guys where you can get all the items from. For example... Super Potion here. I don't think there's anything down here. No, okay. So we'll go back through. Do all this fun stuff. Oh, actually, I messed up already. We need to go down here. So, one. Here's an item. A rare candy. Oh, there's an item back there. Let's grab that, too. But yeah, I've already fought all these Team Rocket Grunts so far. I just, personally, if I'm watching a Leaf Green playthrough, I don't really care about seeing all the rocket battles again, you know, for the 80 billionth time. Uh, I'd rather just, I don't know, progress the story a little bit and, like, focus on the commentary. Granted, that's just how I approach games right now, anyway. It's just, I, or videos. Like, I would rather watch and listen to the commentary. I just kind of, I kind of treat every Let's Play as just, like, background noise, essentially. Uh, just something to play while I'm playing my own game or doing something. 
Uh, also, for this item to appear over here, you have to battle this guy, and it's actually the lift key. Probably should have left that in, but whatever. Alright, though, I am going to run over to the Pokemon Center, and then we'll keep on going down over there. Alright, back to this part of the game. Hyper Potion. And I believe that's the only items over here. Yeah, we can battle these guys, so I'll just do that real quick. Alright, with those guys out of the way, let's use our Lift Key. Oh, I have to actually have to go in. I'm so used to the Gen 1 games where you have to, like... Or no, not... Well, actually, yeah, we can, we can do this. Let's battle this guy and... Nah, I'm kidding. <laughs> I'm just playing. Nah, we're going to basement 4 4. And we're going to handle the real boss. Ooh, a calcium. I believe that's speed. Or it's a defense, I don't know. Man, I kind of wish this was Pokemon Yellow. Because uh, you battle Jesse and James here, and they're really fun, but. Anyway. Alright, and there we go. Also, off screen, I guess Mimian is just broken, man. Look at these stats. 54 special attack, special defense 62, and he's pretty fast. I think, uh, honestly, once he gets to that level, a high enough level, he will be the second fastest member on my team. I don't think Flarny, or not Flarny, uh, Vo is very fast. Yeah, Vo's not very fast, but look at that damage output. If, it, if I teach it a physical move, like, I don't know, I don't, I don't know, what, what's a really good physical move? Hyper Beam? Hyper Beam's a really good physical move in this game. I could teach it, I think, I think most people, most people, most Pokemon can learn Hyper Beam. But anyway, let's get on this couch and talk to this dude. So, I must say, I am impressed you got here. Team Rocket captures Pokemon from around the world. They're important tools for keeping our criminal enterprise going. I'm the leader, Giovanni. For your insolence, you'll feel a world of pain. I do kind of wish that uh, Giovanni had like his own unique music, but this is fine. We got Mimian, the Mr. Mime, that's just gonna sweep. But yeah, Mimian learned Magical Leaf just now. I think level at this level, level 22. Oh yeah, Onyx is just gone. The funniest thing to me about Onyx is that his attack stat is so low. It's just so strange to me. Ooh, Kangaskhan? Yeah, we're gonna swap in Ploof. Ploof's gonna go crazy here. <laughs> oh my gosh. That's... I don't know why, but that's just really funny. So Kangaskhan knows Fake Out in this game. Unfortunate for us, because we just take a little bit of damage there, but... Should do about half here? Not even, wow. We're gonna need to, uh... Gonna need to Leech Seed you. Oh man, honestly, I will say this though, Kangaskhan is not a version exclusive Pokemon, it's something you catch in the Safari Zone, which is a place we haven't been yet. But man, it is a low encounter rate. There's actually quite a few Pokemon in the Safari Zone that are low encounter rates. Good thing that Kangaskhan's asleep though, we really need that. We want Kangaskhan to be sleepy time while we heal up and deal a lot of damage. Crit here? Nice. <laughs> Yo, can you just crit here real quick? Thanks. Ploof is our, our, our greatest Pokemon right now, though. I don't know, though. Maybe, maybe Ploof could get swept by... Uh... Oh, there's another Safari Zone Pokemon we want to capture. Rhyhorn. Though this one's not quite as rare as Kangaskhan, I don't think. Not even by a long shot. You know, I'm going to say that, and then I'm going to encounter like 8 Kangaskhan when we get to the Safari Zone, and I'm never going to encounter a Rhyhorn. See, you raise Pokemon with utmost care. A child like you would never understand what I hope to achieve. I shall step aside this time. Hope we meet again. And we obtain the Self Scope. Nice! That's exactly what we needed. Just what I needed. Alrighty, so I kind of messed up a little bit, but here we are. 
we're back. And by back, I mean we're leaving the rocket hideout. And we are going to get out. And hopefully... And we're going to be using mostly... Honestly, Mimian and Flarney are going to be our goats for this next gym. Uh, very good. And Ploof's going to be a nice little backup. Oh, man. Is there really no move I can teach fucking Vo right now? That, that's, that really sucks, if so. I don't know. I don't think I can learn Brick Break. No, I didn't think so. How about Dig? Yeah, I can learn Dig. Uh... No shot I learns Water Pulse. That's what I thought. <laughs> I was like, there's a 0% chance that that could learn Water Pulse. Uh, Rock 2, maybe? Wow, we can't learn anything. Dang, that kind of sucks. Well, anyway, let's go to the next gym. And uh, also, there's one. There's going to be another thing we do uh, before the episode ends today. And that's going to be uh, obtaining a new HM. All right, and so I'll meet you guys back right here at this exact spot once I've killed all the team, the trainers. All right, we're back, and we've defeated all the trainers in here, I believe. I don't actually know if I fought this one. Did I fight this one? I did. Perfect. All right, so Flarney grew to level 30 during all of that. Uh, Flarney's going pretty crazy with this 56 attack stat, and Mimian is a great backup. Uh, Aerialized Poison Sting, and it did learn Pursuit. If you don't know what Pursuit is, uh, I think it doubles its damage whenever a po a, an opponent is switching out their Pokemon. Granted, I don't think any trainer is going to do that in this game, so maybe the rival? But anyway. Hello. Lovely weather, isn't it? It's so pleasant. Oh dear, I must have dozed off. Welcome. My name's Erica. I'm the leader of Teladon Gym. I'm a student of the art of flower arranging. My Pokemon are solely of the grass type. Oh, I'm sorry. I had no idea you wished to challenge me. Very well, but I shall not lose. You know, it's funny that you say solely the grass type when there are zero pure grass types in this gen. Isn't that hilarious? Every grass type is either bug grass, which is Parasect and, uh... Why can't I remember its evolution? Well, anyway, it's evolution as well. Uh, and then Grass Poison, which is every other grass type in this gen. Man, though, Flarney with Aerial Ice is just going crazy. Also, that is insane. How it did half health before, and then it just did a low roll just now. That's kind of that's kind of booty cheeks, but we'll be okay. Yeah, Hyper Potion is going to be a full heal, pretty much. I probably should have used a Paralyzed Heal, but... Flarney will survive. Ooh, nice crit, Flarney. Holy crap. That brings him down to pretty much exactly half health. I think one of the benefits of Flarney is straight up just that uh, Flarney cannot get poisoned. Like that's, that, that is the biggest benefit of him. Oh, gosh. Also, I find it really funny that, like... I don't know. What, what am I trying to say here? Nice, we got the aerial ace off. Um, oh, I find it really funny the, the next gym leader that we're going to fight. Uh, a Tangela. Let's switch. Actually, no. Flarnia is the perfect for Tang... Is perfect for Tangela. We're going to Twin Needle. That way it's Stab. As long as we actually hit it, though. That, you know... Oh, wow, I just realized I just lied. Tangela is the only pure grass type. <laughs> Tangela is the only pure grass type in this gen. That's so funny. How much? Alright, about a 16th. Oh, man. Thank God this isn't gen 1, though. Gen 1 mechanics. Because Constrict and Wrap are broken in gen 1. Or, Wrap is broken in gen 1. Constrict is kind of whatever. Dude, why are you parried? Stop. <laughs> Actually do something. Giga Drain. That's going to do barely anything. Because Flarney actually has really good special defense. Yeah, it did 8 damage on a crit. Please don't be parried. Alright, good. Oh. That was not a crit? That was just a high roll? My god. 
Farney going crazy right now. Alright, Vileplume is the final Pokemon. We'll send in Mimeon. Mimeon's honestly a crazy pickup. I'm glad I decided to swap, uh, swap around. I right, set up that light screen. Yeah, Sunspore, whatever. Do what you gotta do, Vileplume. You ain't doing a poop load of damage to me. Because it's neutral. Oh, right. Um, <laughs> poison type moves, though, are physical. So that one is a bit of a danger zone. Granted, I don't think Bottle Plume's special, or physical attack stat is that high. I don't know. We'll see, though. Uh, ooh! Perfect outplay. Mimian going crazy. And the crowd goes wild for Mimian! Alright, level 26. I don't think Mimian's learning anything new until... Oh. Until right now. No, I do not want to learn Encore. Alright, well there we go. Gym number 4. We got the Rainbow Badge. Rainbows! Allows well, Pokemon to use strength outside of battle. Something we haven't gotten access to yet. TM19 contains Giga Drain, and you already know who I'm giving that to. That's right, I'm giving that shit to Venusaur. Because honestly, if I'm going to have a low PP move on him, he is going to, at the very least, no Giga Drain over Vine Whip. There we go. Ding! Ploof learned Giga Drain. Alright, we're almost done with Celadon City now. There's just one thing left for me to do. The final thing left for me to do in Celadon City is actually all the way over here. In the next episode, we're going to be doing, uh, we're going to be doing quite a bit, actually, next episode. We're going to be encountering both Snorlaxes. Uh, one's right there, by the way. Ooh, can I squeeze past? I sure can. Perfect. What does this guy have to say? How'd you get in? Good effort. Cool. In this house back here, there is a person with a Fero. Oh dear, you found my secret retreat. Please don't tell me when I'm here. I'll make it up to you with this. HMO2 from the girl. HMO2 is fly. It's a wonderfully convenient move. Please put it to good use. Now, a lot... No, none of my Pokemon can learn fly, but it is cool that we have it now. I actually do have a couple of Pokemon that I could teach fly to in the PC, but as of right now, we don't really need it for anything. It would just speed up some of the processes that I'm going to be cutting out anyway, so it's not like that big a deal. Anyway, let's drop down here. There is actually one final thing that I remembered I have to check. And there he is. Doduo. A new Pokemon for us to catch. Let's Sonic Boom. Uh, one more Sonic Boom will be fine. Get a Para. That'd be crazy. Damn. One more Sonic Boom. Para. Damn. Oh well. We can probably catch Doduo and a Pokeball. But yes, this is actually the only new Pokemon currently available to us. Um, well, technically there is more there are more Pokemon, but we can't we won't be getting them until next episode. Also, that just reminds me, at the end of last episode, I mentioned something about Umbreon and uh, also we gotta name this guy Baldy all caps. Um, I mentioned something about Umbreon and Espeon. You can't actually get Umbreon and Espeon in this game because Leaf Green and Fire Red do not have in-game timers. Like, they don't have an in-game clock. So, if you want an Umbreon or Espeon, uh, you have to actually trade from Ruby, Sapphire, Emerald to get... Like, you can trade the EV you get here over to Ruby, Sapphire, and Emerald, uh, but then you just trade it back to, you know, get a... Umbreon or Espeon. But again, only available after you get the National Dex. So anyway, thank you guys so much for watching today's episode. In the next one, we are going to be tackling 
uh, the rest of Lavender Town, and then maybe catch you a couple Snorlax. So thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.